By the time you've reached this stage, your design will have been improved, the implementation of your modules will have undergone significant review, and you have made many improvements to your course. You may have been working on this course for several weeks and may have been thinking about this entire process for much longer, so you are very close to the design and the implementation and may not be able to see the problems that, uh, that limit your user's experience. To catch these issues, you will need other people to actually go through your course and at minimum go through your overview and first few modules and explore what you have developed. It could be argued that it is better to have some form of usability testing than none at all. The earlier you identify problems, the easier they are to fix. Next to going live with your course, usability testing may be one of the most important milestones in the development process. Stakeholder usability testing is an authentic learning opportunity that will require you to move beyond talking about how you plan to pilot your online course to how well does your course actually function. If you have the time and the resources and access, you would want to test your course with a group of individuals and observe them going through the usability test in real time. I have had the opportunity to conduct several of these 30 to 45 minute usability test sessions and found these testing sessions yielded amazing results. While this is the gold standard in usability testing, you may not be able to do this. Your next best option is to engage your colleagues from your curriculum committee or from your program or course. Getting your colleagues or your peers to navigate through the introduction, overview, or start here section of your course, navigate through and engage in a short activity from the first couple of modules will give you valuable information from which you can make adjustments and improvements. Ideally, you will want your usability testers to use a screen capture tool like Screencast-O-Matic or Camtasia to record and share their experiences with you. This is the next best option to watching your testers go through your course in real time. Another option is to do a debrief session with your usability testers to get their feedback on their experience in your course. Being flexible is a key to getting helpful feedback from your usability testers. The feedback you will gain from this usability testing will enable you to revise what you have built and give you confidence in building out the remaining course modules. This will bring you one step closer to facilitating online learning.